Welcome here to a highly undisclosed location. I don't know how we got here or why we're here, but welcome to Top Gear Porsche of New Jersey. And yes, I realize I just disclosed the location. And no, this is not a reflection. This is not a mirror right here. These are two Ferrari Formula One cars. Suffice to say, today is gonna be a very, very good day. We have the Bugatti Chiron sitting front and center and the Golf Blue Porsche Carrera GT with the matching luggage, as you do. And just like that, we're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. I'm trying to figure out the right descriptive terms to describe what we're up to today. That Bugatti Chiron, 1500 horsepower, we're driving that to Lower Manhattan today. We're driving a Bugatti to Lower Manhattan today. There's also another car back there. I can't show it to you guys quite yet. It's a unicorn, it's one of 25, well, almost 25 in the world. It's getting detailed right now. We're taking both those cars to Manhattan. I don't want to fully misquote the price. Okay, so. <laughs> That's what we're driving. The car back there is what we're driving to Manhattan. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the unicorn that we're taking to Manhattan right now. There's 25 of them in the entire world. I believe two of them in North America. Sean, you should start it up, I think. I think we gotta hear this car. Quite possibly, without hesitation, the best sounding car in the world. <laughs> The Porsche Carrera GT, the Gimbella Mirage GT. We're taking that. And we're taking that. A couple more times, a couple more times. <laughs> That's a naturally aspirated V10. Best sounding car in the world. Never in my life have I cared less about a Bugatti Chiron or riding in a Gimbala Mirage GT. This is such a bucket list item. I'm checking the box. This car is like, my childhood was centered around this car right here. Like, I realize some of the younger generation might not realize what this car is. We're in a Mirage GT, I don't even know what else to say. What? Dude, Sean, you are a madman. Oh, I love it, on, I man. love it. Anytime you want. <laughs> Hold on for your lives! The jump. <laughs> that Chiron does look crazy rolling though. The back end of that car, there's nothing quite like how is today even happening right now? We're in a Mirage GT following the Chiron. in the Gimbala Mirage GT with the Shiraz. Dude, you're a mad man, a legend. Ooh, okay, we get it, we get it. You got 1,500 horsepower. When I sell my Veyron, there's probably two cars I'm considering, and it's these two right here, the Chiron or the Mirage GT. It's such a tough choice, but uh, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I think we know what you would take, right? <laughs> Don't try this at home. We're swapping from the Mirage GT to the Bugatti Chiron. This is a very nice trade right here. Oh my gosh, these cars in traffic look so insane. Like, look at those. What is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Manhattan. It's one thing to ride in the Gambella, but to see it on the Oh my gosh, what? What? Look at that thing. Okay, we got plenty of... Bro, bro, four turbos and a shear on. Wow, the sound is unreal. This might be the best spot in the world because you can hear the four turbos and you can hear that Gabella. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> what is even happening today? How, how, how is this happening? This is too good to be true. I need a Mirage GT. Okay, well, we're gonna rate something. All right, all right, all right. I like it when Sean says we'll arrange something. <laughs> this thing in traffic looks unreal. The back end of a Gimbala Mirage GT with that fixed wing, the four exhaust tips, and of course the roof scoop, and the interior of the Sheryl's not bad at all. And of course the New York skyline. What a day, views on views you might say. I don't know if we're allowed in here, but uh, the guys from Top Gear, they basically can go wherever they want. What? That is so crazy. 
welcome to the vessel. We are getting inside exclusive access to New York City. I, I don't know who this guy Sean is at Top Gear. He just does whatever he wants and goes wherever he wants. Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta sell the Vader on because- Sean, Sean's the mayor of New York. Sean is the mayor of New York. <laughs> He's the mayor of New York. He's got my vote. Like, how are we filming this right now? The vessel is crazy, but uh, I think our time has come. We're not being kicked out per se, but uh, we've been asked to politely leave. A cool fact about the Mirage GT, it actually has a front end axle lift. That is an addition from Gimbella. The Carrera GTs don't have them. Obviously New York City without an axle lift, like good luck to that front bumper. That car looks so sick. Oh my goodness. Well, we're doing the old fashioned bob and weave around Manhattan. <laughs> I don't think Porsche or Bugatti had this in mind when they designed their hypercars. Oh yes, oh yes. Dude, we're getting the full tour, the full pizza, holy, holy pizza. hookup. New York City. New York City, baby. We've had some incredible moments on the channel, but eating Joe's pizza with the Mirage Uchi and Sharon. Yep, this is it. It's honestly like legit the best pizza I've ever had. It is so, so good. Mmm. Joe's Pizza. Greenwich Village, baby. All day, every day. This guy, Sean, is an absolute madman. We just had the best pizza in town, and now we're having cake in the street. The best cake in the city right here, but naturally, we're eating in between the cars, as you do. This right here is fine dining at its fun. <laughs> this one is going on. No way! Bro! My guy, what's up, dude? We're just having some cake in the street, as you do. Sean from Top Gear. No way. No way, bro! Whoa. Why are you in New York City? Bro, what are you doing? No way! You wanna you wanna ride in the Bugatti? I'll just walk. You can have my seat. Okay. Duh. Duh. This right here might be the craziest sequence in a vlog ever. We found Burlacker in New York City. What are you doing? I got your Uber, bro. Only you would be cruising around NYC in a Bugatti. Well yeah, naturally. Quad Wait. turbocharged W16 Yankee game? You gonna eat? I yep. was going to the Yankee game. Are you going to the Yankee game? I'm going to the Yankee game, yeah. Let's go. I think it's safe to say, best day ever. The pizza was amazing, the cake was incredible. Mirage GT, Bugatti Sheer, we found Burlacker, and we're going to Yankee Stadium in a Maybach Long Delay. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a Formula One car, not the Formula One cars today, the ones they had like 12 years ago. Best sounding car in the world, bar none. Like bar none, best sounding car in the world. I also forgot to mention, Sean has another Mirage GT. He's got two of them. One's in Monaco right now, and then this one in Jersey. To say I'm mildly terrified would be a slight understatement. Sean, what does the clutch cost on one of these? Oh, it's uh, it's maintenance is included in this car. Don't oh, maintenance is included. Oh, we're good. No biggie. This is a view I, I never imagined in my entire life. Everything's still in German right there. We're behind the driver's steering wheel. Obviously, the driver's steering wheel is not a passenger steering wheel of a Gambala Mirage GT. Okay, so do you take Cash App, Venmo, PayPal? What do you take? Yeah, I take a wire on. <laughs> All right, and naturally, the Bugatti's made it. The Gimbala drives a lot like the Carrera GT, so with the clutch, all you have to do is disengage the clutch, don't give it any throttle whatsoever, and you're good to go. It costs thirty thousand dollars. That's what the clutch is on this car. Thirty thousand dollars. So uh, wish me luck in the comments below. I'm, I'm perspiring everywhere. I'm trying to figure out what to say to the vlog, but I'm so incredibly nervous. My mind can't even function right now, and I have a Bugatti Chiron in my blind spot right now. And now we're hitting stop and go traffic. No. Perfect. Bro. Oh, this is perfect. No, this, this is, is not perfect. I want to know your skills. It's now, a thirty thousand dollar clutch. It's okay. It's Jersey. Covering really? up the free maintenance program. Come on, keep going traffic I do not need stop and go if I get stop and go traffic we're switching I'm pulling over in the emergency <laughs> lane and we're switching we lived we survived I am legit like my hands are clammy I am covered in sweat that is the scariest car to drive in the world Mirage GT we didn't stall it either the clutch is 30 grand 
It doesn't need a new one, at least not yet. I'm gonna miss, sir. I am gonna miss Miss Gimbala right there. Look at this shot right here. Three Carrera GTs, another day at Top Gear Imports, but Baby Burlacker and I, we're headed to the Yankee game, but we're not headed just to the Yankee game in an Uber. We're headed in a Lawn Delay Uber. The leg room in this thing is unbelievable. Like, I'm fully outstretched. Even Burlacker, well, almost. Oh my, he's still Pretty good. Fits. No complaints, though. No complaints. Well, I would Zero. hope not. Zero. If you complain in a Lawn Delay, there's serious issues. This is so comfortable, though. Like, with the open top air, and nobody can see that Dumb and Dumber are riding in the back. This is one of the coolest things we've ever done in the Maybach Lawn Delay over the George Washington Bridge. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that view. That view is incredible. Wow. Burlak just living his best Not life. Good. Unbelievable. It's a Maybach Lawn Delay and it's for sale. It's for sale. It's for sale. It is for sale. 850 grand. Not anymore because yes. this guy bought it. Not entirely true, but it, maybe someday. I think it's safe to say in the history of the world, this is the greatest Uber ever. The Maybach Lawn Delay. Welcome to Yankee Stadium. This is as close as we could get. I don't know if you can see way out there in the distance, Yankee Stadium. Unfortunately, you can't get into professional sporting events with microphones, so if the audio has changed, I apologize, but uh, sometimes in life, I didn't want to have to throw it away. This is legit the coolest thing we've ever done. Oh my gosh, we're you're fine, go. we're in Yankee Stadium. This is an actual dream come true. How is this even possible? Ladies and gentlemen, we are row number one, and we are seats number, wait for it, three, and four. My ultimate goal when I was growing up was to play shortstop for the New York Yankees. Obviously, that never happened because I couldn't hit a curveball. So, this is the closest we'll ever get to playing at Yankee Stadium. The craziest thing right now, guys, like we're on TV, we're on the Yes Network right now, we're front and center. Every single pitch, everybody's watching us. Those two idiots. If the Yankees find out, they're never going to let us sit here ever again. So, we got to enjoy the moment. We got to seize the moment. We got to get some pizza and fries. Yes. It's free. Yes. Everything's free. Let's go, Judge. I love you, bro. What a crazy day. That was Whoa. once in a lifetime opportunity, bro. Front Except seat, Yankee Stadium, and the Yankees got the W. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know if you acknowledged the credit. The oh, thing. yeah. Fox. Yeah, no, you're welcome. Thank you. Burlak got me the jersey, though. Gimbala Mirage UT, Bugatti Chiron, Maybach, Londelay, Yankee Stadium. That's the day. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you didn't like this one, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over. And I'm out. Game's over and we're scratching around for more ice cream. They're never gonna let us back. People are getting in trouble. Chocolate taco. Chocolate taco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look it up, brother. Look it up.